Hey gang, Tim Forge. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Welcome to my sloppy old garage here. But I just wanted to make a quick little video and um, provide you with some updates. On what we got going on and uh, what I'm going to be working on. So bring an old friend back in the garage because uh, we've got some goodies. And I want to show you all the goodies and what we plan on doing. So I got like two weeks to a big, like super amazing show here, not far from us over in Mobile, Alabama, uh, Spanish Fort area, Battle in Bama. So hopefully let's catch up with some of you all there. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty amazing. We've been wanting to go for years with work and logistics, haven't been able to make it. This year, we're going to be there, and we're bringing Fred. So it's going to be super cool. Can't wait to be there. Um, but before we can go there, well, we could go there now, but I want to do some other improvements because we've got two weeks, and I want to show them to you. But before I show you what we're going to be doing, just wanted to fill you in that um, found old Pearl. So if you've been following along, had the other white 85 Silverado Pearl. Pearl found a new home. Pearl went out to Mississippi, found an awesome home. So I'm really happy about that. Um, freed up a little space in the old driveway here in the garage. So helpful. And then freed up a little fun so we can do some more stuff with, with Fred here. So the first thing I do is um, we're going to get rid of the old carburetor on Fred. So let me show you what we got, what we're dealing with with Fred, if you don't remember. So... So Fred's heart was transplanted back in 1994 uh, with this old Target 350. I think it's got like 40,000 miles on this Target motor since it was replaced according to all the paperwork. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but with whatever paperwork I had, that's what it's showing. So I'm going to roll with that, but Fred's not going to have that old quadra junk anymore. Um, we got something special. So I'm going to bring you over here, show you what we got. So let's let's look at this what we got here we got the old holly sniper efi so i'm going to set you up so i can show you this stuff so stand by i want to show you what we got and then we'll go from there all right stand by all right so it's like christmas time so the ups man came fedex ups i don't know whatever but he came the other day thursday and dropped off these two big old boxes i was like a kid in christmas morning so the first box is like kind of the basic stuff. So, gonna have a special air cleaner base. We'll go over that. Gaskets. What the heck was this? I don't even know what I bought. What the heck is this? Oh, the valve covers. So, I got some just old school black valve covers. There's the happy little grommets. Where's this thing made? Taiwan fingers. I made sure I bought the Edelbrock intake. Let me show you that because I think there's like made in China or something. So block off things. That's super important. Gaskets. But Fred's gonna get a performer intake. And then we got these. So that'll make it like super perform. I got these fancy T bars. Had those on my Nova when I was a kid. You get a hundred dollars off of wine. Look at this. Look. You get a hundred bucks off of wine. My wife would love that. Holy cow. hundred bucks off of wine. Maybe like a week. 55 years at Summit. That's a fancy sticker. Love Summit. Been buying from Summit since the 80s. All right. So that's cool. We got the intake valve covers. We'll dress it up a little bit, clean it up nice. But the super, super cool thing that I'm like super excited about. I haven't opened this box yet. We got the Holly Sniper. So I'm looking forward to not having a quadra junk anymore. So I'm not the best carburetor tuner in town. So I'm hoping with a computer, I'm a little better with a computer that I can program this thing up and we can make it happen. But we cut this before. Look at this. Ooh, big boxes. What we got? I think I need to study this. We got a big old instruction book. 
put this on the bird. Comes with filters. It's supposed to be everything. So we got two filters, filter, filter. I guess it's a filter. Yeah, it says filter. I guess it's a filter. This must be the fuel pump. Oh yeah, that's a fuel pump. Well, fuel pump. This is gonna be so much fun. We got all the pieces, parts we need. Supposed to be everything. It's supposed to come with a computer too, but I don't see the computer. Where's the computer? Fittings, nuts, bolts, nitrous. What are we doing with nitrous? I want a nitrous. Bunch of fuel up. So I got a lot to a lot to research on this. If anybody knows, could give me any tips, I really appreciate it. Any tips for putting this in? I'm going to be reading the instructions here in the next couple nights. Start digging in. We've got one more box. It's got to have the sniper itself in it. If I get it out. sexy thing. I don't know, it's a little too high tech for me. I hope not. Holy cow, I'm so excited. Check this thing out. Man, that's super cool. I can't wait to get this on old friend. It's going to make the drivability like 10,000 times better. A lot of doodads on there. We'll figure it out. But where's the computer? Maybe, oh, there's another little box in the big box. So I did a little bit of leg work. And uh, a couple of YouTube videos I watched where they they went through, kind of ran down what the engine was, put all your information in there, and then it spits out a program for it. Another wiring harness. We got gaskets. We got another little happy box here. More wiring. Looks like a water temperature sensor. Gas. Oh, this is for the O2 sensor. So to give this little fancy little bracket, drill a hole, put the O2 sensor in so you don't have to uh, weld the bung in. So that's pretty cool. And then here's the fancy little like three by three computer screen. Some of that stuff, wire and harness, more doodads. I don't know what this doodad is. Ignition coil driver. I don't think we're gonna need that, I'm not sure. I'll do some research, we'll figure it out. That goes in there. Block off plate. Gotta get this back in the box. Christmas miracle. So that's, I guess that's it. That's all the pieces, parts. Let's head back in there. Safe keeping. It'll be a few days before we need that. So, anyway, I just wanted to share with you my excitement. I've been waiting for this thing to come in. Super excited to get it. So we're going to start installing that this week, and then hopefully we'll get this in. I'll take you along for the ride with that. And then uh, we also have a lowering kit, um, and the manufacturer, I had emailed them, because I ordered it like a month and a half ago, and it hadn't come in yet. So uh, chassis engineering, but they emailed me right back. Folks, super awesome, and they were waiting for some pieces, parts. They had a little backlog waiting to get back from the powder coater. So those were supposed to be shipped like Thursday or Friday of this past week. So hopefully we'll see them soon. But I'm not going to start that until after the battle in Bama. And then maybe after Power Tour? I'm not sure because we got a lot to do between then. I got a whole other box back there of suspension parts, ball joints, tie run ends, what I want to do when we do the lowering kit. But before we do the lowering kit, we got to concentrate on the air conditioning. So I got to stitch back this air conditioning system before Power Tour. Otherwise... It'll be an ugly power tour. So we gotta make sure we have air for, for that road trip. So anyway, I just wanted to do a quick little video, show you what I got, and if any of y'all have any tips for installing one of these things, I've watched a couple videos, I'm sure I'll watch a couple more, but if you have any tips for me, please, by all means, put them down there in the comments, I really appreciate it. But that's it, so I'm gonna keep you updated. Next video, we'll be tearing into Fred, getting all this, install because we've got two weeks to do it so it's going to be a lot of work but i'm confident we can do it to make sure we hit the battle of bama 
So, hey, want to thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Again, any tips, let me know. And until then, we'll catch you in the next video. Like, subscribe, please, if you can. I really appreciate it. And y'all take care. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.